Bonjour. Salut. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm in Paris, France, checking out some of the hot spots of World War II history. Now, did you know that right here at the Eiffel Tower, during the German occupation of France, took place another story of duty, honor, and courage? Now, here at USAM, we love our military. That's why we'd like to share with you the story of Bill Overstreet. Enjoy. Spring 1944. German forces have occupied France, but they were in for surprise in the form of an American by the name of Bill Overstreet. A Virginia boy and proud patriot, he enlisted immediately after Pearl Harbor. In no time, he was declared combat ready and proving to be a skilled pilot flying a P-51 Mustang he dubbed the Berlin Express. April 9, 1944. Somewhere over northern France, German bombers met their match as they came across Bill's fighter group, the 357th, that made short work of them and claimed a victory within just 30 minutes. But the moment the fight started, Bill found himself in a heated chase against a pilot of a BF-109 that took him some 40 miles away. The enemy was trying to lure Overstreet over the streets of Paris and the Luftwaffe guns. But the Germans had not expected any activity and thus were not ready. Hugging rooftops, he pushed his Berlin Express to its very limits. Suddenly, the German pilot dipped his plane low beneath the steel arches of the Eiffel Tower, where there lay a column of waking anti-aircraft gunners. In the next second, as enemy flak finally began bursting, he too flew his plane beneath the iconic monument. French resistance fighters on the ground witnessed this amazing feat as Bill rolled and fired a long, accurate burst into the German fighter, causing the BF-109 to explode into the city below, before he punched at full throttle and followed the river until clear of the city's heavy anti-aircraft batteries. Bill Overstreet's amazing piloting that day served as much more than a simple air-to-air -air victory, for he had unknowingly inspired hundreds of thousands of Parisians to continue their fight to rid their country of these terrible and uninvited guests. By the end of the year, the Germans had finally surrendered on August 25th, 1944. We here at USAM pay tribute to this great American hero and all of the airmen who fought and died during World War II.